Oh, shit. Oh, f What I hold here in my hand is something I actually forgot I had. It's a British Army canvas tent from World War II. So about a year ago, we had a look at this old British Army World War II bivouac canvas tent. And I was actually reminded of this tent by military collectibles who had commented on that review video. And he told me that this here tent is actually a roof. Military collectibles states, the proper method of using one of these army tents is to first dig a trench and then the tent goes over the trench and you live in the actual trench. And now, here we are. an old uh, dummy, it looks like. Interesting. The small uh, ceramic here too. It's funny the things you'll find buried beneath the old uh, woods here and buried for a long time. But at the same time, a little bit, a little bit unusual, a little bit scary, especially that dummy. I could use a bilge pump. Got all this water rising up, but I suppose that was the reality of life in the trenches. Hence, trench foot. So I'm gonna cease digging down now because we have to sort out some kind of drainage here because we're just gonna get flooded out. I don't know. Dig out the edges a bit more. Let's see. Ah, this would have been so much easier with an excavator. I should have contacted Primitive Technology. But I can't get an excavator down here. be a miserable experience but I guess it it beats getting hit by shrapnel so that's about as much as we can do 
Uh, obviously, 2010, two people would have been digging this trench, two people to solve the drainage issue. I'm only one person with 10 hours of daylight. So we're gonna be losing the light soon and I still gotta collect some firewood. So that's her. Check out these tent pegs. These are real tent pegs. Beefy. So right now the aim is just to not let that canvas tent fall in the trench and get wet. That's the aim. So it's gonna look a little bit ragged to start with, just to peg it down, just to hold it so it's not gonna fall in the trench. And then we can cinch it all up and make it look nice. Oh, you bastard. Fuck. Fuck again. You know what, I'm not even gonna fiddle fuck around with it anymore. We haven't got much time, so we need to we need to get in there and furnish it. So because I knew it was going to be a bit of a dirty job, I brought out this uh, Van Gogh Hush camp bed, little camping cot, just to keep us off the ground, uh, especially with all that water in there now. Brought a bivy bag with me too, but uh, yeah, it doesn't float. Make sure they're in tight. Because if not, they'll fling out and crack you in the face. Just dirt. Okay. <sighs> it's drizzling. Just what we need. A little more water into the mix. British Army bivy bag, British Army Arctic sleeping bag.
is this end. That ends the high end. Done. It's actually surprisingly cozy in there. That is till that water rises. Gonna have to keep an eye on that. It wasn't supposed to rain today, so hopefully this is just a shower. It's a bit concerning with the level of water that was rising earlier. So with this rain seeping into the ground, could be issues. So we got the old uh, firewood stocked, lit, We've just been chilling by the fire. Now it's time to eat. I've got this all day breakfast left over from uh, that combat ration. So this is our dinner. So I'm here trying to just uh, tuck into my dinner and this just ain't working. Ah, there you go. See, this is when it gets far too complicated. I was getting a little antsy right there. Jesus. What's next? Fucking thing. Whew. So I'm not the biggest fan of the old all day breakfast, but when you've been digging a whole trench by yourself, it's not bad. Got some decent stuff in here too. Decent, you know, a few sausages. And it's not that I don't like an all day breakfast. I don't like my beans touching anything else. And, uh, and this is touching everything. So dinner's done. Looking forward to getting these boots off and bedding down for the night. So this bug mesh here, according to some research, a lot of the troops actually cut this off because it just got in the way. It uh, hindered them from getting in and out and uh, I totally get it. Oh man, we've got water that has risen. Oh sh**. Oh f Okay. This is terrible. Boots go back on. I don't know how wet our our gear's gonna be, but we gotta get it out. Cause we can't sleep in here now. <laughs> All right. So our bivvy bag is okay, our bivvy bag is dry. The sleeping pad is a little, it's a little, little damp in uh, at uh, the bottom end of it. But uh, that's okay, we can still, we'll sleep on that. But our uh, 
camping cot is out wet. That ain't no fun. Didn't even begin. It's a shame because it was pretty cozy in there earlier. Well, at least this is dry. That's important. This definitely was not the plan. Nice and simple one tonight then, just a, a bivvy bag, a sleeping bag. Wide open. I haven't even got a tarp. I don't think it's supposed to rain tonight. Ugh. It's been one of those days, like seriously one of those days, within the first two shovels of digging, something went snap in my neck and shoulder. It's like an elastic band just snapped back, bow. And it's been pretty tight ever since, so uh, that, was, uh, that was hard work. All for nothing. Oh well, I suppose I will catch you guys in the morning. Coffee and donuts, the breakfast of champions. Although it wasn't a win last night. I thought that water was going to be a problem, but I didn't think it would reach the level that it did. I'm not looked in there this morning, so uh, once we get caffeinated, we'll have a look. So the water had risen uh, just up to the uh, camp cot last night. So what do you guys reckon? Submerged or not? Submerged. I wonder if you could drink this water without boiling, just filtering it through a milkbank bag and then drinking. It's not a survival, it's not a survival episode. So camping in a trench with a canvas roof didn't exactly go to plan. Camping outside a trench with a canvas roof, more accurate. I'm now gonna fill this hole in and then go and have a bath. So we'll see you back in the backwoods.